Yes. All right. Oh, man. All right, guys, we're on the board for crappie now. Looks like the answer is to throw it out and let it set anywhere. Talk a little larger. Now. I was getting ready to fix my other pole up. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it fell off. God. Why? What the hell? Oh, I'm starting to get a bite. <clears throat> yep. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's definitely a fish. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a eight. All right, we got an eight incher, guys. White crappie. Well, I'm using the jumbo minnows this time. We got three dozen medium minnows and two dozen large. We figure if they don't like one, then we'll use the other. All right, we're. Getting them little by little. They're biting pretty good. It started off really slow. They're not really on the brush today. They're out from it. You notice that? Yesterday they were all inches away from the wood and that's the only place they'd bite. Today it doesn't seem to matter where you throw it. I like it when they're roaming better. I keep trying to fix my other pole up. I don't know if I can. I was gonna throw one with a worm at the same time and just let it sit. I got a crappie. They're not as big today, but they're not bad. I'm not gonna complain. He's getting a little dark. That's a male white. Another seven incher, guys. Story of my life, seven inch. All right. I can use the same minnow again. Yeah. Yep. Something's thinking about it. Yeah. My worm just did it too. My worm had a little nip. It is. It's not a crappie, though. If it is, it's a giant. I think it's a bullfin. If this is a crappie, it's a giant. No, it's a bass. I could tell it wasn't fighting like a crappie. Yeah. No, warm. no minnow. All right, guys, a couple of first largemouth out of here. He's not bad. Pound and a half. Hey, not a bad place at all. My goodness. He's actually pretty healthy looking, real fat. All right, guys, we're getting them today. It's a poor day, but not according to us. According to the almanac, I guess. I'll just make sure it wasn't in the way of nothing. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and move anyway. We'll come back to this later, maybe. <clears throat> Got what? Yeah, I seen it on the satellite. Yeah, there's a gutter and then there's just a little bit of lake left after the gutter. It's just real small. Or like a half an acre after the gutter. I'm gonna see if it's getting shallower yet. Yeah. It's still the same exact depth, 36 inches. They got their own boat. I think there's some bigger crappie right here. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, it's a fish. They're here. I knew they would be. I didn't, there's a little hole in here that's about eight foot deep. The deepest part of the lake. shallow pass. It's just a little rut. Alright guys, hey, not gonna complain. Beautiful day, new place, found the, went to the other end of the lake and explored more of it. Found a gutter that comes in. You can see here behind me. And it digs a big rut out right here. It's the deepest part of the whole lake. Six feet where everything else is three. So they're gonna be stacked up in here, especially the whites. Okay. I'm going to change my battery and then I'll need a minnow. Feeling about this part of the lake. We caught a lot when we first got to our tree that we was at yesterday. We caught about six fish real fast and then it died and then we didn't get nothing for like 45 minutes. So with this being the deepest part of the lake, I just have that really good feeling. You don't need to cast it, you just let out your line about four or five feet and lob it out in front of you. I'm right above my own anchor actually. And it don't take long. Right in front of me is the little scour hole and then there's all the surrounding water is only two to three foot. But there's a spot right here that's eight foot deep. So it's, they're definitely gonna be stacked in here. This is the one without the spinner. Ah, never mind. That'll work right here. If I can cut it. That's the problem. I got real thick line on it. All right, guys, I decided to, I was getting burned out on minnow fishing. I put me a chartreuse black and blue little two inch curly tail on here and added a spinner on it. Chartreuse head, so chartreuse black and blue. Because this water's dingy. 
And I just got the biggest crappie of the day. So I think I'm on to something here, guys. Nice black. What a beauty. There's a big stick right there. Oh my God! Bass. It's a big one though, my goodness. Wow, yeah, there's some big bass in this thing. Guys, what a surprise. And it's a black nose bass. He's got black on his nose, like a black nose crappie. That guy's a black nose bass, or he's a black lip bass. That's a nice large mouth. Here. Yeah, if that wind stays like this, slow, well, if it slows down, I can use the minnow again, but good God, it was frustrating there for a while. centered on this hole or something. Got some good bites right there. Now you're home. Oh shit! Oh man! See what I told you? Just throw a bobber in random places and just keep moving it around. Every, if you don't get a bite in 30 seconds, you scoot it. There we go, guys. Nice white. Yes. There we go. Nice white crappie. Beauty. I don't know about up that far. It don't start getting deeper until after the, about right in there. It's just a little pothole right here. You'll know if you're hitting bottom your bobber don't float around. I'll try to use the same minnow, I guess, but I doubt it. It's completely dead. But I'm twitching it, so. Nope, I need a minnow. It's ripped. Or I couldn't even hook it no more. Yeah. Oh. No, uh, it was a stick or something. You do? Oh my god. That's a bow fin. Oh my god. Big bow fin. No, it's a bass. I can't believe I thought it was a bow fin. Three, easily three. Good job, honey. That's a big, large mouth. Three pounder. Well, I'll get a good film of you here. And probably a picture with my phone. I, I'm gonna need the pliers. Yep, pliers. 
Dang. I don't think you had him at first. I think he hit it when he was reeling it in. Oh my God. Look at his tail. It's missing half his tail again, guys. This is really common this week. Finally, a fish is missing his bottom half of the tail to the top. He's a full three. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? They're in the car. I don't know why you had them in there, but I seen them on the floor. I didn't put them in there. I seen them on the way here. Yeah, the snip, four snip. It broke the hook. Guys, check out this bass. Wilman just caught a nice little three pounder. And then I'll take a picture with you with my phone also. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, man. It swallowed the hook, guys. I hope it's okay. Good job, hon. It's a big bass. Wash it some of its blood off. We're going to get a big one eventually. Yep, that's a nice one. We're catching a lot today, guys. Just haven't got those 12 and 13 giants yet, but we will. We're patient enough. I think we'll eventually get a land, land a bigger one. have your drag set before you start. Little bitty one. We're getting good numbers today though. Really good numbers. I bet we've caught 20 already. Yep. Not bad. yesterday the big boys came out the clay it's not every day though it's got to be there at the right time but they are borderline keepers some of them are keepers cast on the lure guy very first cast only because I know exactly where that tree is and how far not to cast but I'll eventually get hung anyway probably I'll overdo it the little black little baby Let's see if we can get a real one. Oh, Wilma's got one. Oh yeah yep not bad white Bite right here, right in front of me. Yep, he's on there, right by this brush. Yep, little one. Calm down. I want to use this minnow again, fish. Probably not now. You wiggled too much. Ah, little baby again. God, quit finding my... Ooh, you got a bite. You definitely got a crappie, too. Get him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Looked like you were hung up. That was a weird bite. You shouldn't ever just have that much line out, though. You only had like a foot of line out total. Because if that was a big fish, it would have snapped your line. Oh, 
Oh God, here it is guys. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's hooked good, he's hooked good. No, he's, yeah, he's hooked good. Oh man. <laughs> yes, oh man. Oh, oh, oh guys. We've been catching seven and eight inch crappie all day. Finally, a half hour before dark. Oh my God. I was twitching it. Yeah, I guess. My gosh. And then you're gonna have to take a picture of me with my phone. He's 13 and a half. 13 and a half. About 13 and a half. Maybe only 13 even. Yeah, I'll measure it though, just because I'm off a lot. But I'm gonna say 13 to 13 and a half. It's a female, pregnant. Guys, it's a beautiful white crappie. My second biggest one of the year. Or no, third. Nice fish nonetheless. Mmm. Even smells like a crappie guy. He is 12 even. Well, it's still nice. Mm hmm. It's a nice crappie. I finally got, you had all the luck yesterday, now I finally had some. You can put that back in. Alright, I want you to film me for just one second with this, and then I want you to take a picture with my phone. Yeah. I don't know what it is about this tree. Why this tree, though? Nowhere else. Maybe they got up. Lay the eggs in here. I know, but why ain't they down at the gutter or other trees? We'll catch the big giant right here. Uh. Well, guys, it was only 12 inches. It's still the fish of the day, besides her bass. Nice crappie. Nice pregnant female. Pretty girthy. It's a nice, a nice crappie still. I thought he was way bigger than what it was. When I was real little, I thought at least 14, but definitely a slab. Yeah. Bass. It's not a crappie, is it? No, that's a bass. Hey, not a bad guy though. Good job. Man, I'm surprised we didn't scare these fish. Well guys, this ends our day. This was our second trip here to our new place. We didn't get the 15 like we had hoped or, or bigger, but I did get a 12 and she got the nice large mouth. I probably caught about 20 other crappie and bass, so we still had a good day. It was a beautiful day out. We're not gonna come back here until late fall, and I, by late fall, I mean mid-October at the earliest. The gnats are so bad here that you can't even concentrate, and it's only the middle of April, if that tells you anything. It, they are just absolutely horrible. They fly in your nostrils, inside your ears, land on your eyeballs, and try to go in your mouth. And just crawl in your face, and they're by the hundreds. It's been very frustrating. Uh, you have to have an actual mosquito sick to fish here in the summer. Plus, in the summer, the mosquitoes are here really bad. So, this would be a, definitely a really good winter spot for from October to the from October to the middle of April. Crappie on a chartreuse and black B&M jig, little seven-inch white.